here we am back doing a TD5 that's got a diesel leak um, we did all the seals and them still leaking so now what we've done is we've dried that out in the bottom there you can see and we think we've got a leak coming from there so what we're going to do is turn the engine on um, not turn, turn it on completely just turn the ignition on so the fuel pump starts and then when that starts we should be able to see water dribbling uh, sorry diesel dribbling down there if I can focus again on the old I want to be able to Ready? Can I turn that flash on this? It'll make it much easier. Flash on. Oh. There we go. Yeah, go, do it now and we'll give it a go. Yeah, just uh, get it going. So hopefully we'll see some diesel run down there once it's there it comes. Yeah I can see. So that's running that's diesel running from around the injector down into the uh port. Now let I'm just trying the eyelet again just to double check. We're gonna have another look. Now we've got the stuff off the holder from around the mm -hmm. injector. Just gonna have another look just double check. Then what we're gonna to do to see if it's the um, head or if it's the injector itself is we're gonna take the injector out, inspect it. If we can't see any cracks, we're gonna swap um, four and five and see if um, this one's still leaking or whether it turns the leak onto four and then we'll know whether it's the injector or whether it's the head. So now we can see all the way around the injector, so we're just going to have a look where it's coming from. Injector 4 and Injector 5 to see if the port where Injector 5 is is still leaking once Injector 4 is in there. Then we can see whether it's the injector or whether it's the head. We've inspected down the holes and we can't see any cracks down one, um, but it could be super air long, we might not be able to see it at all. So, this is now where we can figure out of trying to see which, which one it is and trying to see whether it's the injector or the head. I'm praying that it's the injector and not the head. You know what, I'm going to have to turn this camera again over. Yeah, so I'm just going to show you again the injector out. This is on the other video, I showed you the tools, but we don't show you actually removing them. So, I'm going to see, I can show you, hopefully, I'm going to remove it, let's try and get the light. Let me turn the clock on this. Yeah. Just hook it under the injector against the Allen key. You're probably are gonna go well now and film me. Nice. That's popped it up a little bit, so once you've used the 5mm, stick a 6mm under it just to help it get a little bit higher. And you should be able to pop it the rest of the way. You've got to get it just in the right place to get it given. There we go. 
So that saves your buying the tool, um, the slide hammer type tool that's expensive. And now we're going to have to turn the, um, the can to get it out. So we'll do that. What, what we've done is we have um, swapped the injectors around. So now four is in five and five is in four. One yeah. is not leaking. Two, sorry, five is not leaking. Four is now leaking. So that tells us that it's probably this injector which is injecting on five. As you can see, what we've got to, as you can hear, what we've got to do is um, do the prime. So you turn it on and pump the pedal five times and the pump will keep running, um, which helps you find if you've got, it helps to prime the system. Yeah, I'm just trying to zoom, get the focus on it. There we go. So you can see the wetness down there. And then on one, it's bone dry. So it looks like it is injector number five, which is in currently in position four, which is causing a problem. That was water off the roof. <laughs> so hopefully we haven't got a cracked head and we have got an injector problem. So we'll look into that. What we found is that it looks like it is um, injector number five that's faulty. Because after moving it, it's still leaking with just all other injectors. There's no leaks out of any of us. It's just that injector. So hopefully we haven't got a cracked head. We've just got an injector problem. So we're going to whip out um, four and five put five, uh, four back into its original hole and then take five out and we're going to get ourselves another injector. Uh, chuck the injector in and um, then we'll we'll check it again. We have already changed all the seals. If you look at the previous video, you can see changing the seals and cleaning the ports where the injectors go. So we know it's not a seal problem. And when we get an injector, we'll probably get a used one because as you know, new ones are pretty expensive. So we're going to use one out of something. Um, and then we'll chuck that in and we'll show you what happens once that's in. We've replaced injector number four, which was the injector that um, we had a problem with. Um, and we've got no leaks now. We've been priming the system for a while and it's been coming on and off and we've got no leaks. So we believe that the injector was at fault. Um, so we're going to change the oil, put the uh, rockers back on, Put the rocker cover back on and then we'll run it and see what happens.